Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Long Care 101. I'm Clint, the Neighbor Dominator. So we're gonna do a little experiment uh, today. I have grown my lawn out to about five, six inches, and normally I keep it at around three fourths of an inch because I'm growing some things out, and I want to see what the lawn looked like because my lawn's been pretty thick, and I've never seen it like that. So I want to see what it looked like long because I used to cut it long. And now I've been cutting it three fourths with that thing. So I sprayed tenacity down. There's some bleaching out there, and I'm kind of trying to grow it out. So I'm going to do one half of the lawn with the reel, and the other half with the rotary Honda, and go over some of the benefits of both because one is not better than the other. It's all personal preference. But I got a question for you guys. You know, I just did an alien video and there's no lawn care involved in it. It was just entertaining and it was an idea that my fiance came up with. And, you know, do you, do you, do you guys like content like that? And if you find that entertaining, you know, comment below on what you guys want to see because, you know, lawn care is always spraying weeds and all kinds of different types of products and informative and I figured throwing out a funny video would you know kind of be a little bit different and, and you know more entertaining you know every once in a while I think we need to do that so let me know in the comments below if I should do more videos like that because I got all kinds of crazy ideas but we're gonna go on the lawn and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about and we're gonna go over what's the the difference and benefits and you know of long and short grass. So let's get out there. All right, we're out in the lawn. And as you can see here, it's really long. Just do what everyone else does. Gotcha. But uh, we're oh, extremely long here and got a new mic system here. Sorry, guys. I'm trying it out wireless. But uh, the lawn has never been this long uh, since last year before the flooding. And what I'm trying to do here is, is uh, grow some stuff out. I have tenacity going on over here, here. There's other spots where there's nuts edge and some other leaves. And then uh, I had a weird type of grass growing there. <coughs> and uh, I went heavy and really did some damage. So it's all right. You can see the bleaching right there and all that will grow out and another reason why too I was growing out the lawn is that that section right over there was extremely dead and still is a little bit but you can see that the grass is growing back in there this was all brown and it's growing back in nicely it's gonna take a little bit of time but um, yeah I'm gonna do a real mower cut over here and then I'm going to do the rotary cut over here. And then, you know, I apologize, but this is all flooded and I can't uh, cut that because as soon as I start cutting, it really tears it up. So I have to actually weed whack all along here and there won't be nice stripes there. And it'll probably be like that for the rest of the season until it cools down. But uh, one thing I want to show you with having a long lawn, I was uh, in a couple chats and you know, I've never had weeds in my yard the past year because I've been cutting it so short. But when you allow the grass to grow, you allow everything else to grow. And I'm getting some of that in here. And like nuts edge, it's just, it's popping up all over the place. And this mic keeps falling, I don't know about it. But um, yeah, when the grass is short, it doesn't give a chance for the weeds to grow up and they uh, they stay very minimal and down to the ground and yeah letting uh, my yard grow out long is uh, it's different for me and not a bad thing you know it's just uh, more more treatments and of weed stuff but uh, and then also too we got a nice dead spot there there's a couple of them on the lawn because turns out that boat back there which is not mine it's my father-in-law's he uh, my son was cleaning the boat with bleach, a bleach bucket, and we decided to spill a little bit of bleach on the lawn all over the place. So, but all right, let's get to cutting, see what's uh, the difference. Thank <laughs> you. 
smell is awful. It is an awful smell. It's like that standing water. It smells like muck, lake, bottom. It's nasty. So, got that all done. Cut this down to about three quarters, yeah, I think it's like an inch maybe on the higher setting. And then you can see the difference on how long this is over here. But man, this thing is a striping machine. But uh, you know, what I've, over time, what I've realized is when you have the shorter grass, you know, being on the water, it's really wet out here. and when it's short, it's able to dry out a lot faster. That's the, the best thing that I've seen, you know, which means less disease. And, you know, the it's definitely greener on the other side uh, with the longer grass, you know, but um, I, I, I don't like dealing with disease. And I find that with the long grass, when, you know, people always go like this, and my yard is normally short, so it's green all the way down. But as you can see in this picture right here, that when my grass was consistently long, it was, you know, it was it gets all dark and dead down there. But since the, the grass is trained to be short here, this thing stays pretty much dry. And uh, I don't know. Uh, as striping goes, you know, the it stripes better with I think I think it stripes better with the Honda when you can bend the grass because the way the light reflects off it, you can obviously see more definition. But uh, once again, it's personal preference. You know, I, I like the grass dry. I like the way it feels, like that golf course feel, you know, on, on the on your feet when we're walking around out here barefoot and big thing is though is it keeps it dry from disease and you know but now the downfall of having the short grass is I can show you over here there's not an applicable amount of water so I'm about to drain but you get this scorching effect uh, especially if you're not training the lawn to go short and using uh, products to help it out. You know, you, a lot of these guys that have shortcut lawns, they're putting a lot of stuff down. I am one of them. I keep it short, but I put a lot of stuff down. But, uh, you know, to protect the lawn in the summer, you know, I, I think going long is the best. You know, it's helping out firsthand over there. If you look at my other videos, it is scorched over there. And I, and I was cutting with the real mower. Now that I'm letting it grow and, and it's a lot longer, I mean, you can clearly see 
the difference. We got this, and then now here's this. So, yeah, that's uh, that's my take on short and long grass. So, if you find this to be helpful and any kind of content you want to see, and let me know about that alien video if you guys want to see more stuff like that because I got all kinds of ideas. But uh, yeah, hit the subscribe button. Check me out on Instagram, The Neighbor Dominator. Hit the bell, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.